Do you know what the four F words are for narcissists? Meaning the four things you should definitely forget about. That is the things that I'm going to tell you about in just a second. So stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zong. I am a narcissist negotiation expert and an attorney and an author. And on this channel and in these videos, I share with you the things, the tips, the tricks, the things you need to know to shift that power dynamic so that those narcissists are not getting the better of you, the best of you. They're not sucking your soul anymore. They finally do not have you. And if that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and stick around. All right. Let's talk about those things that you should just forget about. Like these are the F words. I call them the F words because maybe you feel like saying the F word, but instead of saying the F word, you're just going to forget about these things when it comes to narcissists. So the first thing you're just going to forget about, you just need to forget about, and that is forget about telling them that they're a narcissist because you tell them they're a narcissist. What are they going to do? The first thing they're going to do is that's what you become. Now they're going to go tell everybody in the world that you're a narcissist. I mean, whatever you say to them, that's what you're going to become, or they're going to project, deflect, they're going to lie, lie and deny in whatever. They're not going to go, oh, you know what? I think you're right. I think I need to like do some self-reflecting. I think I need to, you know, look into my behavior. They're not going to do that. It's not happening. You definitely don't want to call them out. Don't call them a narcissist. It's not going to happen. And, you know, I do have a whole video on that, by the way, on things you can do instead of calling them a narcissist, instead of calling them out on that which you can check out if you'd like. All right. So that is number one, forget about calling them a narcissist. That's not getting you anywhere. You know, these are the things that you just don't want to do because they're not going to get you anywhere. You want to move forward in your life. You want to actually get somewhere in your negotiations. You want to actually create a vision. You actually want to slay, which is what I teach you. My slay program. You actually want to have a, a win. You actually want to have a resolution. You actually want to have an outcome where you can walk away relatively unscathed. Okay. Well then don't call them a narcissist, not getting you anywhere. That's number one. Number two, forget about closure, not getting that. You're not getting closure. You're not going to get that feeling of being fulfilled. You're not going to get that nice, tidy bow when the relationship is over. You're not going to feel like satisfied when it's done. And I had a very hard time with this. I have to tell you, I never, I never was in a, a romantic relationship with a narcissist, but I did have to deal with a couple of narcissists. I've dealt with them a lot in my law practice, but I did have to deal with them in a couple of situations, in a business situation and in a family situation. You don't get closure, okay? And I did a whole video on this too. It's called, I was dead wrong. And I talked about my personal situation and you can definitely check that out if you'd like, but you're not getting closure. So forget about that too. That's number two. That's your number two F word of the day. Number three, Number three is forget about getting them to admit they're wrong or getting them to have any sort of regret about their behavior. They're not, they're not going to do that. Not willingly. I mean, the only time you ever see narcissists out in the news, you know, politicians or entertainment people saying they were sorry or whatever, only when they get caught and they have to because they need to preserve their face. They need to preserve a career in some way. And that's when you see them come out. Oh, I'm very sorry that I may have hurt somebody. 
which is not a real apology, by the way. I mean, do you think they would have been out there apologizing publicly if they hadn't gotten caught? No. So that's not a real apology. So forget about them getting to see, you know, what they did wrong or having any regret about their behavior. Not going to happen. Forget it. And by the way, even if they do say they're sorry, as I said, it's a big fat lie. So I want you to write liars in the comments so that you can remind yourself that they're just liars. So put liars in the comments. All right, let's go to number four. Number four is forget about them seeing your side or recognizing your contributions. This is a tough one too, because a lot of times the relationship has been very one-sided. You have put way more into this relationship than you've gotten out of the relationship. And so you want them to see all that you've put into it. You, you want them to, to acknowledge that they got a lot out of the relationship and all that you did for them. You want that. You want that, but you're not going to get that. You want them to to see your side. You want them to feel your feelings. You want them to see the pain that they caused, the hurt that they caused. You want them to see like the destruction that they caused and acknowledge that. They don't wanna see that. They don't wanna see that. They don't wanna acknowledge that. Forget about getting them to do that, all right? So those are the four things, those are the four F words that you should just burn into your brain, move on. That's the best thing that you can do with your life. Honestly, move on to somebody who's actually going to acknowledge you, care, have empathy, see your side, have feelings for you, actually apologize, actually want to have a, a two-sided relationship that serves your soul, whether it's in business or personal there are lots and lots of people out there who are capable of having a healthy relationship. Find those people. Those are your people. I always say, stop trying to make not your people, your people. These are not your people. Okay. So just move on. It's okay. Namaste and walk away. So, and if you're getting ready to negotiate with a narcissist, definitely grab my free crush, my negotiation prep worksheet at winmynegotiation.com. And join my free private Facebook group for extra support, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. And um, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, drop me a comment, put the liars down there to remind yourself that they're liars and make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, stick around. We'd love to have you. Remember, today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. I'm Rebecca Zung. I'm so glad you're here and I will definitely see you in the next video.